Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda if you are new here. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you guys for clicking on this video and hanging out with me today. I'm going to share my Walmart weekly grocery haul with you guys. I haven't been to Walmart in a good while, so I did Walmart pickup, got some of my favorite products, and then also some new things that I've never tried before. So let's just jump right into my weekly grocery haul for aiming for weight loss and overall health. So if you guys are interested in that, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I would love to have you here, and let's just jump right into this grocery haul. Starting first to get this stuff out of the way, boring but good for you is all the veggies I got. I got a big humongous thing of a lettuce, because salads, lettuce wraps, sandwiches, all that good stuff. And then I got some celery because I also got some, some dip, and I want to do like snacks. Um, I love doing like snack platters and I love celery and dip so I got that. I'm making my balsamic green beans which I know I have not shown on my video yet on here on this channel. So I plan on showing you guys how to make this recipe. I've mentioned it before and I've made it like twice and I haven't filmed it so I am going to film this one. Green beans for my balsamic garlic. It's actually my mom's recipe. Her green beans are so good. Purple onion. We got another thing of lettuce. And then a big thing of tomatoes, huge, huge bag of tomatoes. Um, cucumber, avocado, love avocado, that's a must for me. Bananas for smoothies, I'm getting back into my smoothies. And then blueberries and raspberries, love to have berries for like a sweet tooth kind of thing. I also make my berry mash. My berry mash recipe is in my favorite snack ideas video. So if you go back onto my channel under the videos, you'll see probably like, I think it's my last video actually, is my snack ideas where the berry mash is in that and it's it's so easy to make and it's really good. So check it out, check the description box, it's all written out there. And then I got some lemon juice. Sometimes I like to just get the lemon juice instead of the like fresh lemons because it just works out a lot better. So I always get lemon juice usually. We have some Parmesan cheese and tomato basil <laughs> pasta sauce. I love the organic great value pasta sauce. It's really good. Love that stuff. We got some fat free feta crumbles because I am in the mood for like Greek pitas and Greek salads. So I also got Joseph's pitas. I love Joseph's pitas and the lavish bread really good and then i also got some banana peppers um love to have that on again pitas and salads so i picked that up i got some buffalo pretzels for snacks these are really really good these are probably my favorite um they have other flavors but the buffalo one's really good i got some frozen corn because i'm making mashed potato kfc bowls and i like to add corn into it i got some jerky for a snack this is just fills me up really good and I like to just bring this when I'm like on the go like kind of running around doing errands I pop this in my purse because it keeps me nice and full and it's like two bites I think two bites two points and 80 calories I got our black label bacon love this bacon it's like one of the best microwavable bacons <laughs> and then I got Amy's soup I love Amy's soup and some nights where I just don't know what to make for dinner or I am just feeling tired I love to do soup so I got this low fat split pea and then I also got the chunky vegetable which is delicious I've had this one before and it's so good and then what I do is just add some vegetable broth to it and then I'll make like a side salad or I'll make some garlic toast or something um, and then there you go soup and salad super easy and then I got my favorite chicken nuggets or chicken strips actually I should say these are the spicy um, spicy ish chicken tenders by Kali Power I love these and this is what I use for the KFC bowl so good and then I got a humongous thing of tzatziki <laughs> tzatziki dip for pitas and salads it's a pretty big container um, but yeah, I love this dip and it's very decent in bites. And then I got some minced garlic and water. Yeah, that one's in water, right? Yeah, in water. Um, they also have the one in oil, which is also really good. I got a big thing of fat-free mild cheddar cheese. I have some Velveeta slices because I'm going to be making burgers. And I love to put Velveeta slices on it. It's one bite, one point, and 40 calories. And Velveeta cheese is the best. 
on burgers. So I got that. I got some yellow rice to go with a new recipe I am trying out. I'm really excited to make like this little steak Spanish bowl. Um, and I ha even have like a recipe for like a, a green sauce to go with it. So I'm really excited to try that and I will film it maybe in like a what I eat in a day. Um, I got some crispy onions. Love this for a topping on soup, on salad, so good. I got some white rice microwavable cups. We got sugar-free strawberry jello for the berry mash. I add that into the berry mash as sugar-free jello. That's kind of like the secret ingredient. And then I got some brown gravy for the KFC bowls. We have some black beans for that steak Spanish bowl I'm making. I used to get these all the time, but you can only find them at Walmart. Um, and like I said, I haven't been going to Walmart very much. So I picked up one. It's a vanilla cupcake whip. And it's really yummy. I love the texture. So I picked up one of those. I also picked up some Greek yogurt, vanilla, and small curd low-fat cottage cheese for my berry mash. I like to top my berry mash on the cottage cheese. And then I also got Simply Light Lemonade. And then I got quite a bit of meat, like different variety. I got this rotisserie seasoned chicken. It's like grilled chicken already done for you. Um, that's something new I've never tried. I got some extra large shrimp. I really, really love shrimp. I got this beef, grass-fed beef top sirloin steak. Um, it's a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, that's pretty tiny. That's for the steak bowl. So we'll see. Hopefully that will work and will be enough for me and Joey. And then I got some extra lean ground beef for those burgers I mentioned. I'm going to make Velveeta burgers. I got some chicken thighs because chicken thighs are so much better than chicken breasts. And I'm kind of burnt out on chicken breasts. So I like to have a chicken thigh from time to time. And I got a big thing of salmon because I'm going to be making some Asian salmon bowls with rice and edamame and cucumber. Um, and I love salmon. I think it's so good. And that is everything that I got for this week. So not too big of a haul, but definitely got some new things. And I'm excited for this week. I'm feeling really great to make some new recipes and also have some old recipes that are just comforting and that I always have during my journey. Just like the same kind of thing I eat all the time. Um, it keeps me accountable and I enjoy it. And that's like the trick is to find food that you really like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Stay tuned for my what I eat in a days. I have some other videos planned. Um, I know you guys like when I do like the five nights of snacks or five nights, <laughs> the five favorite snacks, five lunches, five dinners type of videos. So I'm definitely going to concentrate on doing that for this month. Um, kind of pack a whole bunch of recipes all in one video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're doing well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.